Hello, everyone. My name is Dr. Missy Albrecht. I'm a doctor of physical therapy, and I'm here with Ms. Kyla Bullock. Hi. And uh, we're excited to share some information with you guys about essential oils and brain health. But first, we just wanted to start with kind of why we got into essential oils um, personally. So I am a physical therapist, and I work a lot with patients with pain. And I also do a specialty of physical therapy called visceral manipulation, which is making sure your organs are functioning optimally. And there's a lot of toxins in the pain medications that people take, either post-surgical or just pain and inflammation in general. So I went on this mission looking for more non-toxic ways to help my patients with pain. And I started with the essential oils at Whole Foods, learning very quickly that this world of essential oils is um, available, right? We can get it at Target and Walmart and Whole Foods, but it's not regulated very well. So I went on this mission. I did a bunch of research and found doTERRA to be the uh, purest and most potent that I could find. And it did wonders with my patients. Um, I now use it on my dog, cleaning supply, personal health, mood, all of that stuff. So that is why I'm passionate about these powerful tools. And hi, my name is Kyla. And uh, personally, the way I got into essential oils is that about a year and a half now, I was just sneezing a lot and coughing a lot, couldn't really fall asleep. My eyes were super puffy. And uh, I went to one of Missy's classes and she had asked, like, why are you here? And my thing was, you know, around springtime and fall, uh, I just, all the environmental threats just really got to me. And I had met with a doctor who wanted to get me on allergy shots. And that was my next uh, step to get better. And before I did that, I wanted to try something more natural. And so when I learned more about doTERRA, I had learned that you can take essential oils internally, uh, some of them, some of them you can now, which we will dive in later. Uh, and the ones that I take internally now every day, uh, peppermint, lavender, and um, lemon, sorry, uh, those three together, I take them daily in a shot glass of water and it has helped up like every day and I haven't had to take an allergy pill since. So that's what got me into it. And now uh, just learning what so many different oils can do uh, to help you daily is great. And so that's what got me excited to do this class with Missy. And yeah, I think we're going to dive in. All right. I'm going to share my screen here. Got some slides to take you guys through. Can you see that okay, Kyla? I can see it. All right. So we are looking at essential oils for brain health and ideally more natural, natural things. And Kyla is going to get a little bit more into this later, but our vision for all of you watching this is to have this as a resource. We're going to be throwing out a ton of information and it can be a little overwhelming, but you will have this to go back to, to pause. Um, and when you guys decide to get oils into your life, you'll have us as resources too. So we are focusing on tools that you can use naturally, easily accessible and affordable. Um, and what we're focusing on is mostly brain health in general, which is anything post uh, brain trauma, focus, impulse control, sleep, mood, behavior, immunity. And then gut health and hormones are a little bit, it seems a little indirect, but um, we're going to talk a little bit about the gut brain connection and how that affects our hormone system and all that stuff. So our mission is to teach you more natural solutions so that you don't have the side effects of a lot of uh, stuff that's out there. And then uh, just why are people turning to natural solutions? I mean, there are so many different ways, but millions of Americans are turning to essential oils, uh, just an effort to minimize the number of chemicals in their lives. Uh, you wouldn't realize how many chemicals are in your cleaning supplies and in your soap and your conditioners. Uh, but being able to turn to a natural solution is a great reason why, and we are providing that outlet. So, 
Next slide. And Missy, do you want to talk about this one? Unmute. All right. So basically, when you have something going on with your brain, so whether you've been injured, um, you're having trouble focusing, you're struggling with some sort of um, hormone dysfunction, a lot of times with our modern health approach, you will be given medication. And Kyla and I are definitely not here to sit here and say, never go see your doctor, never get medication. But there's a lot of side effects to that. And a, a big, the big view of this modern approach is that we address symptoms and not the root cause. So the essential oils are ideally looking at helping the root cause and not just covering up the symptoms. So you're going to get these um, safe effects of using the oils to help support the healthy, uh, the health of your brain. And you can actually, what's really cool that I've found in my experience is use these in addition to a lot of the medications. Um, cause we always recommend if you are taking something from your doctor, don't just cut those out. Always talk to your doctor about switching over and, um, even adding these tools in here. But the goal is to target this root cause and Make sure we're not just covering up the symptoms, which is awesome. So we're going to go through a little bit of information about what causes brain dysfunction. Uh, number one is toxicity. So I mentioned this a little bit in just the work that I do. There are toxins all over our environment, and we're not designed to live in a bubble. So we're not going to try to avoid everything, but what can we start to control in our environment and daily routines to help limit the amount of toxins because these toxins are getting into our brain and affecting how our organs function, how our mind focuses, um, lots of issues. So number one is food. Sugar is a huge, huge toxin for the brain. Um, cleaning supplies has a ton of toxins just to, you know, people get used to that fresh, clean scent that's not really clean. Um, a lot of things in our medicine cabinet are toxic, like over the counter medications. Um, air quality is huge. There's a lot of, um, just stuff outside. There's, uh, I was just looking at a study. I can't remember the percentage, but indoor air quality can actually often be worse, um, than outdoor in an industrial area. So it's kind of crazy how much stuff can build up. Um, there's a ton of toxins in our water and then also body care routine. So anything you put on your skin, in your hair, your body's going to absorb and take those toxins in on a daily basis. Another thing is a uh, deficiency. So this is nutri uh, nutrient deficiency. So number one, the, um, SAD diet, the standard American diet, is very focused on processed foods, which doesn't give us the nutrition to feed a healthy brain. But also, if you eat a completely clean diet, you're still going to be missing a lot of the nutrients that feed the brain because our soil is just not as nutrient dense as it used to be. So that's a huge, huge area. And Kyla and I are not here to focus on nutrition today. We just have to mention this, that it's a huge part of brain health. And then lastly, um, inflammation of the brain. So those of you with brain injury, I know I grew up playing soccer, which you never really think of being terrible, but it's just a bunch of tiny concussions heading the ball every time. Um, but getting into a fight, car accident, that kind of stuff that trauma can lead to chronic inflammation of the brain. Um, inflammatory foods we talked about a little bit. Stress is a huge one. So chronic stress, um, it messes with your hormones. Kyla's going to talk a little bit about our stress hormone cortisol. And this just leads um, to a ton of inflammation around the, around the brain. And just a brief intro into inflammation. It's, what it basically is, is it's the body's response to healing tissue. So we actually want a certain level of that. So if you get into a car accident and injure your brain, we want some inflammation in there, some swelling, some fluid, 
to help the tissue heal. But it's when you get into this chronic state of inflammation where it's almost like a, the body's a broken record and can't move past that stage of healing. Um, and again, stress is a huge one for that. And lack of sleep. So sleep is actually when our brain gets pruned of all the things we don't need anymore. So scar tissue, uh, old memories, negative thought patterns, that kind of stuff. So without sleep, your brain is going to be um, not as optimal. So we want to focus on that. Um, so this could be a whole talk on itself, but just to briefly introduce the gut-brain connection because a lot of the oils we're going to talk about is going to be healing the gut. And this is some new-ish research on just how much the gut talks to the brain and the brain talks to the gut. So if you've had a brain injury, they're finding a lot of gut issues with those um, patients because of the connection between the two. And then vice versa, if you have a lot of gut inflammation, the brain can be affected as well. So I know a lot of people, when I got off of mostly um, you know, processed sugar, that kind of stuff, gluten for me, um, I, one of the main things I noticed was less brain fog. So I felt like my brain could function. So this is a, a newer area of study, and there's a lot of information out there. But just knowing that diet and the health of your gut is a huge player in the function of your brain. So when we're talking about healing the gut, number one is the diet, which we are not focusing on today, but just knowing that's a big piece of it. But this other piece is dysbiosis. So we have a bunch of um, good and bad bacteria in our gut. And this dysbiosis is actually a uneven amount of the good and the bad. So it usually means there's too much bad bacteria and not enough good bacteria. And this can happen from stress, from brain trauma, from inflammatory foods, lack of sleep, unhealthy diet. And so we want to start to balance this out, get rid of the bad gut bacteria, and rebuild our good bacteria. And what's really cool is doTERRA has this awesome blend called Digestin. This is one that can start to um, help you rebuild that good gut bacteria. So this is one um, that you can use topically on your abdomen. You can also put some in water and drink it. Um, but this is one that helps to balance that out. As we go through these oils, you'll see quite a list of um, benefits and uses for each one. We're going to focus again on the brain stuff, but just know that you can kind of pause and read through some of this stuff too. Time is another one that's really, really good at balancing out that gut bacteria as well. Kyla's going to go into what essential oils are. All righty. So just briefly, really quick, uh, essential oils, uh, it's a natural oil that's obtained by distillation and having characteristics, fragrance of a plant um, and other sources from which it's extracted. So it is taking from the leaf or it is taking from the flower petal or um, all of that. So this little image that you're seeing on the screen, um, it's magnified. So it's taking the peppermint leaf oil and it's showing the oil sack of where it is coming from. So that is the brief explanation of what an essential oil is. And then the next slide, we're going to talk about the potency. So potency of essential oils, it's 50 to 70 times more powerful than herbs. Um, it just guarantees its max, maximum potency in just your little bottle of essential oil. Uh, so for an essential oil to obtain strong potency, the plant it originates from must be grown in the right environment. And we're going to talk about uh, how important it is for certain oils to come from their motherland um, a little bit later when we dive into some more oils. Uh, for the this little image, it's showing that the supercharged benefits that one drop of peppermint oil is equal to 28 cups of tea. So if you think about that, drinking 28 cups of tea, can one, 
it could cost a lot of money. So you're almost drinking pennies to the dollar. Uh, you can add one drop of peppermint oil to your water and drink that and get the benefits of 28 cups of tea, if that's a better way to think about it. Um, and peppermint aids in digestion, which Missy just talked about that, uh, digestion, digestion, it all circulates with brain function. And so peppermint can really help with gut issues, uh, critical thinking, and then focus as well. And if you briefly can look at these slides, um, as Missy mentioned, if we are going too fast, you can always come back and read the informational benefits of these oils. Um, it talks about what part of the plant it comes from, how it was extracted, and all of the key benefits. And then at the bottom there, it talks about how you can use the oils um, aromatically, topically, and internally. So if you see an oil, we go too fast, you can always rewind or go back and pause and take a screenshot of that oil. So why doTERRA? Uh, simply stating, we need a need for a higher standard. So also as Missy had touched on uh, her why, she talked about that she started with oils from Whole Foods and then quickly learned that they weren't held to a standard. So essential oils are not uh, regulated by the FDA, but doTERRA has set up a testing process that is termed CPTG, which stands for Certified Pure Therapeutic Grade. And if you look at this slide that she had, that she just switched to, it shows um, which oils, um, like how many oil, if you take all the oils, how many are synthetic, how many can are in food, how many are therapeutic, and then that little sliver of CPTG oils. So when you see the little green sliver for food, it just means that it's approved by the FDA um, and that it can be eaten, but it's not necessarily the best thing to be eaten. Um, if we read that down at the bottom, doTERRA is the most tested, most trusted, and that is mainly because of the stringent third-party testing that not every company goes through. For the next slide, uh, we're going to talk about wild orange. And when I talked earlier about why it's important for oils to come from their indigenous land, if you think about this, uh, like getting an orange from Florida versus Colorado, the soil, the climate, the altitude, and the temperature are all so different in both places but the orange from Florida is so much better because of those reasons. Um, and the reason for wild orange, the reason we talk about this oil is that it supports Alzheimer's and dementia. And um, I also know that diffusing wild orange can also help uplift mood. So again, why doTERRA um, co-impact sourcing. So in addition to supplying the highest quality of essential oils, doTERRA is committed to making a positive difference in the lives of farmers and harvesters and distillers. And so with over 100 essential oils in its product line, doTERRA sources its oils from 40 different countries, helping support these people and giving them um, jobs and um, ensuring that they, uh, sorry, my little thing just went away. Um, and just ensuring that they will always have a job and be able to produce for everybody else. Uh, we are going to talk about vetiver and this can be uh, diffused. It can be taken um, put topically and internally, and it supports sleep, impulsivity and um, opposition to defiance. Um, and I, we had a YouTube video, but I don't think we're going to play that. Um, this uh, comes from the root of the plant, and it is pretty awesome. If, if that of your, if you read right here, um, before traveling, uh, you can take it in a little capsule. And by that, doTERRA has these little capsules that are, you break in half, or they're already separated, and you can put the oil in a capsule, and then you can take that internally. So if, if a slide talks about that, that's what it is talking about. Let's see. Next slide. Three ways to use essential oils. And Missy is going to talk about this one. If I am going to mute myself. I'm going to go back on the back to the vetiver too, just to add something with the co sourcing. 
what's really cool is so what they're doing in bed of, in um, Haiti is they were able to help. They didn't have clean water. It would take them like three hours to get, go like walk, go get water. And it wasn't even clean to bring back. So it was an exhausting process. And because we get our um, better from them, we were able to support them financially and help them get a clean water system. So that's just a really cool um, part of the co-impact sourcing that doTERRA does with the world, which we love. Okay. So this is how we can, uh, you guys can use the essential oils. First way is aromatically. And this is um, a huge way to use it for the brain because you're basically either going to be breathing it in through the diffuser or you can actually put a drop in the palm of your hands, rub it together, breathe in. But when we breathe it in, it's going to go directly in through our nasal cavity and affect the olfactory bulb here. And this directly affects to the brain. So it's going to be targeting the limbic system, which is where we process mood, emotion, that kind of stuff. So you have this direct ability to, you know, you're not able to focus. So take a deep breath in and you can focus. Um, you're stressed out. You can have these almost immediate effects, which is really, really powerful. So rosemary is a huge one for focus. It's actually powerful for a lot of different areas of the brain. Um, it helps support uh, brain decline. So anyone struggling with Alzheimer's, dementia, um, and also just general focus, which it's a really powerful one. Now we can use these topically. Um, like I was saying earlier with the toxicity piece, body care is a huge um, area where we can pick up a lot of toxins. And it's because our skin is our largest organ. So it's going to absorb what we put on it. So if we go towards the more natural side of things, um, putting the essential oil on your skin, you can either put it on an area of pain. So um, if your shoulder is sore or your lower back, you can do that. If we're working more with emotional things, you can focus on pulse points. So maybe behind the ears, over the heart, um, the wrists. Those are good ways for mood. Um, and then you can see in this photo, this tiny little baby foot. Um, the bottom of the foot is, when in doubt, if you don't know where to put it, put it on the bottom of the foot. Um, this is our most porous area of the body, and it's, it helps to uh, get the oils into your system. It's ideal to, Kyla's going to talk about safety a little later, but to dilute the oils because the um, fractionated coconut oil that we use with the oil, with the essential oil, helps to drive the oil into the body. So if you were to just take a drop and put it on your body, a lot of it's going to evaporate into the air. So that's why we want to do that. So for pain, pain is a huge, um, a huge um, kind of factor in relationship to brain health because when we're in pain for so long, there's actually an area in the brain that gets larger. So each body part is mapped out in the brain. And if I've had lower back pain for 15 years, that area in my brain is going to be even more sensitive and reactive. So that's why we always want to target pain. Deep blue, this is the one that I use a ton with my patients. Um, you can see it comes in a roller and an oil. So this roller has a uh, fractionated coconut oil in it. So it's ready to be applied. Um, you can put that on the sore areas. Aroma touch is another one that's really calming, grounding, and um, can help with any discomfort. And then past tense. This is another one um, really, really good to support any type of headache or migraine. So you can put it on your temples, face of the neck, um, another powerhouse to have on hand for anything pain related. And then internal is the last way you can use these. Um, when you guys get the oils into your hands and into your home, we'll go into a little bit more of um, how to use all these other oils internally. But again, you want to make sure you have a pure oil. I would only recommend ingesting doTERRA. Um, 
Kyla mentioned the capsules that you can put them into. So you can kind of pop it open, put a drop in there. And doTERRA also has some pre-made capsules for things that you're using frequently too. Um, and then you can also put some in your water and your beverages, as long as it's, um, you don't want to put it in plastic or styrofoam because the oil will start to break down the container. All right, a little bit more geeking out and then we'll get into the oils more specifically. So the blood brain barrier is one of the most powerful ways that uh, essential oils can affect the brain. So this barrier is, we want this in the brain. We want the toxins that you breathe to not go directly to the brain. So that's what this barrier is, is it's a layer that helps keep out unwanted items from the brain and lets in the good things. So because of the breakdown of a lot of essential oils, um, they're carbon based and they are lipid soluble. So they're fat soluble. And all that means is it's going to be able to penetrate the blood brain barrier. So the body is saying, yes, the brain wants this. Um, one of the main uh, pieces of the essential oil, um, it's a sesquiterpene. Hopefully I didn't butcher that word. Um, that uh, constituent of the oil helps to cross the blood brain barrier even more so that it can actually affect the brain. And frankincense has the sesquiterpene in it. So that's why this is kind of the king of all oils, supports a healthy inflammatory response. So we can kind of stop that broken record. Um, this one's awesome for anything stress related, anxiety. Um, it's just, it's, it's the king of all the oils, which is amazing. Um, Copaiba is another one that's, um, newer for, to, uh, newer for doTERRA. We got it last year. This actually works on the endocannabinoid system, which most people know through CBD oil. Um, and it, it just supports a healthy response for all the systems in your body. So it's going to support the brain in that way. And there's also been a lot of cool research on PTSD for with this oil. So another good powerhouse to have on hand. Alrighty. I'll take over from here and we're going to go through a few oils and uh, it might, like I said earlier, it might be a little quick. So if you need to come back, feel free to once this uh, goes to the next slide. So for lemongrass, uh, it supports the adrenals and the healthy cortisol function, which are stress hormone. Um, it directly affects our brain and it's really great to help you feel uh, refreshed and energized as well if it is diffused. For basil, um, this also is a great one that supports the adrenals and cortisol levels. Uh, it supports mental alertness and it lessens anxious feelings. And so um, if you are in a situation where you feel um, overwhelmed, this is a great one that you can put on um, maybe just your wrist so that the scent of it um, can help lessen those anxious feelings. Uh, and Missy had talked about diluting. Uh, sometimes uh, you can put the oil into a roller with uh, some fractionated coconut oil. Fractionated coconut oil is just always in liquid form, so it won't harden. And if you have that, then um, it won't heat on your skin or anything like that if you do have skin sensitivity. Uh, for black pepper, uh, most of you would just think black pepper, that's you're just going to use pepper for cooking, but pepper is actually great. It's a great oil for um, addiction and then it supports the immune system. So even though, yes, it does enhance food, food flavor, um, it's also great in antioxidants and helps with healthy circulation. So uh, this is a great one to be used uh, in a diffuser uh, mixed with other oils, uplifting oils, and then it can also be taken internally and used aromatically and topically. For Intune, you can see by this picture that it is already pre-made into a roller. So it does have a fractionated coconut oil in it. And along with that, it talks about that it has a patchouli, frankincense, which Missy touched on, lime, ylang ylang, uh, Hawaiian sandalwood, and Roman chamomile. Um, this was great for helping with focus. 
So when it helps, it helps support focus during studying um, while you're working. Um, sometimes you could be focusing on something, but then like I always joke that when your brain goes somewhere else, it's like squirrel, like you just don't pay attention and you can't even remember what you were last working on. So Intune is a great one that you can put on your pulse points. So maybe behind your ear or along your collarbone or um, your wrist is a really great one. And it's nice that it's already pre-made in a roller for you. Uh, you can bring this on the go. Uh, as for balance, um, Missy was going to talk about this, but I want to talk briefly about it really quick, just because it is one of my favorite oils. Um, I, I use this almost daily. I will just put it on my wrist or I also have a little necklace that I drop it on, um, on a little roller ball, um, that it just, the scent helps me feel balanced through the day. Um, but what Missy might talk on a little bit more is that it helps with, um, depression. And I will give that to her if she wants to talk about it really quickly. I'm always happy to have you talk about your favorite oils. <laughs> um, this is also one of my favorites. Um, I use it every day. My dog gets it every day. But yeah, we have this on here because um, I think we all kind of deal with emotions up and down throughout the day. And it's just nice to have something to balance that out. And when you're dealing with, any gut inflammation, any brain trauma, um, anything like that, this is a tool that you want to have on hand all the time. Um, so this is a really, really good one to have. It's actually already diluted in the fractionated coconut oil. So you don't have to have the roller bottle, but you can always make one if you want. Uh, lavender is another powerhouse that we have for anything calming. Um, we talked a little bit how important sleep is, and this is a powerful one just to help. It's not going to knock you out and make you groggy in the morning. Lavender is going to, it basically is bringing your body back into homeostasis where it needs to be. And it's going to help prepare your body for sleep, which is amazing. Um, and you'll notice, so there's actually four sleep and depression and anxiety, there's a bunch of different oils listed and a bunch of options. And I always encourage people to really try what works for you. I have some people who hate the smell of lavender. So if you hate it, don't use it to try to calm you down because it's not, it's not going to work. Um, that would be my dog too. She hates lavender. So she has to use balance and vetiver. Um, but yeah, play with it, play with blends. You can mix some of these together. Uh, Lavender and frankincense is an awesome blend, but you can kind of just play with it and see what works for you. It's really cool because the um, every essential oil has different DNA, just like you and I, and it's going to interact with everybody differently. So that's why you get to kind of play around with it. Okay, Peace is another fabulous blend. Um, especially with any real like high energy, maybe kiddos or just people in general. This also comes in a roller that you can um, apply to the pulse points. You can have it in the diffuser. And then Serenity. So this is another powerful calming blend. It has more of a lavender vanilla flavor to it. So it's a little bit sweeter. Um, and I think it's important. I think Kyla does this too, but just mixing up different, you know, maybe one month you focus on balance, but mix it up the next month just to kind of keep your body guessing. Um, and then lastly, for anything, depression, anxiety, it's nice to have something that will uplift you and motivate you throughout the day. And so there's this um, encouraging blend, which is a beautiful mix of peppermint, um, it's got some citrus in it, basil, Melissa, which is a really powerful uh, mood one, rosemary, and then vanilla bean. So really, really good uplifting blend. Kyla's going to take over safety here. All right. So we've been talking about taking them um, internally and topically and diffusing them. One thing we want to remind you is that essential oils are not for your eyes, ears, or nose. So. Uh, just like uh, breathe, a lot of the people think that when they have a stuffy nose, you could put breathe up your nose to help you help your sinuses open. Um, what I would do is 
put, you can put them close. I have had people put them above their lip, which I think is almost too close, but just on your chest, I think is really great for something like breathe because it is so potent. It doesn't need to be exactly where your issues are concentrated at. So if you have an ear infection, don't go putting the oils inside of your ear. Just on the outside is great. Same with the nose outside. Just always remember outside. Um, and back one more slide. Sorry, I didn't mean to go to the next one. Just to talk about breathe really quick. This is a pretty uplifting oil. Um, I know that most people just use it when they are having a hard time breathing. And in that situation, if you're having an anxiety attack or not an anxiety attack, but just really, really anxious. Like we were talking about other oils that help with this. Breathe is a great one. Um, it just kind of calms you down. It uplifts you. So it's kind of like the bringing you back to homeostasis. So um, I've used this uh, right before I've given a presentation. I've put this on just to remind myself to breathe and to not be too overly anxious. So uh, briefly, we want to talk. We want to talk about that citrus oils are photosensitive. So any citrus. So if you think of oranges, grapefruits, anything like that, that a citrus fruit that you might eat, a citrus oil. I would not put these on your skin if you are going to be outside. Um, if you really want the scent or you really want the benefit, what I would recommend is putting it on the bottom of your feet, uh, so that that is a place the sun doesn't see. Uh, but I would just recommend not putting a citrus oil on your skin before you enter the sun. Speaking of citrus oils, we're going to talk about lemon and mainly, so a lot of people think of lemon as just the cleaning oil. Um, but I want to talk about lemon in for this class that it promotes a positive mood. Um, and that it also helps with the respiratory function. Um, Missy had told me that if we, if you look at the list of oils that um, are on the menu, lemon is a part of a lot of different things that can help. Uh, and just finding what works for you, I think is great. So lemon is a great one, uh, but don't put this on your skin before going out to the sun. Uh, diluting, I briefly talked about this. So if you are using this on a baby, uh, there are different dilution uh, percentages. So on a baby, I would dilute it more. Um, by diluting, I mean putting it with a fractionated coconut oil. Um, so one to two drops to more coconut oil for a baby, and then a little bit more for kids. And then adults can have a little bit more oil to the or essential oil to the fractionated coconut oil. Uh, diluting is always great. Um, it also makes your oils carry further. So you get more uh, bang for your buck with your oils if you're going to use them uh, topically. On guard, uh, well, right now it is September, so it's back to school for a lot of kids. So on guard, I would uh, recommend for everybody daily. Um, this helps from getting sick, and it so it supports um, – it supports a healthy respiratory function, and then it also helps diffuse or cleanse the air uh, by using a diffuser. So uh, Missy had talked earlier in the class about um, air quality, and this is really great to put in a diffuser uh, and just have it going throughout the day to help with your internal air quality uh, in your home or uh, place where you're living. It is really great. And uh, although Miss, Missy talked about the Diffusing, there's a photo of a diffuser. Uh, doTERRA offers a bunch of different diffusers, um, whether it's a four hour diffuser or much longer. And um, once you contact us, we can dive more into the diffusers that doTERRA offers. So, switching over to Missy, she's going to talk about the three ways to get doTERRA into your life. All right, you guys, hopefully, you're full of brain information now. Um, so when you're ready to get these essential oils, um, if you are working with the awesome powerhouse team at NeuroOptimize, um, you can actually, there's going to be a menu listed for you guys could, to buy each oil individually. Um, and you can pay the retail price. This is one of the owners, Carly. This is her doTERRA website that you can kind of jot down and just order retail. This is not the way that we recommend the best. The best way is actually through a wholesale account. So 
when you uh, get a wholesale account, it's kind of like a Costco membership and you're going to get 25% off all the products for a year. Um, there's no minimum order requirement. You just order as you please and you get that 25% off. It's a $35 wholesale membership. And if you love it after a year, the renewal is $25, but you get a free peppermint. So it's like a $4 a year membership. It's pretty easy peasy. Um, the third way and the best way is going through one of these kits. So the kit basically waives the $35 fee, and you're also going to get an additional discount beyond the 25%. So I have up here some of the most popular ones. So this Home Essentials kit on the left bottom corner kind of gives you the basic um, everything you need for your medicine cabinet to start to detoxify your life, support healthy brain function. You get the frankincense in there. It's an awesome one. Um, you also get this four hour diffuser. The other most popular one is this natural solutions kit on the right side. This is um, a little bit more oil. So you get the serenity balance. You also get the 10 hour diffuser and some of the other, other products that doTERRA makes. If you're not a DIY person, um, it's nice to have shampoo and conditioner that's already made, um, hand soaps, that kind of stuff. So you get a lot of the um, things like that. Some of the other ones, this one on the upper left is the Emotional Aromatherapy Kit. So those of you struggling with a lot of mood stuff, this is a powerhouse kit. Um, you're going to get peace uh, and motivate, which we talked about. But you're also going to get cheer, passion, console, and forgive. So that's another really good one to have. Um, this Family Essentials and Beadlets kit, you're, it's going to be the same as the Home Essentials kit, but they're going to be smaller bottles. So you get five milliliters instead of 15, and there's going to be no uh, diffuser in that one. And then this Aroma Touch Diffuse kit is also the smaller oils. It's a little different mix. You're going to get balance in that one, but you're not going to get frankincense, which is always a sad thing. Uh, but you will get the four-hour diffuser. Um, and I will say if you get any of these kits and you're like, I want to get the black pepper that Kyla talked about for addiction or something like that, you can always add stuff on. So you don't have to limit just to these kits. Um, so if you are interested in getting the oils, we will have our uh, contact info in the YouTube description so you can reach out to us. And NeuroOptimize also has our contact info. So let us know. We hope you um, get to start using these powerhouse tools soon to help with your healing journey. Um, thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah, thanks. Have a good one.